Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for the final race of the season. The race where, as you all know, winner takes all. Winner is declared champion. Maybe a patch. Henry Williams are in the front row. Both looking for their second title, I think. Not 100% sure, but green flag is out as Diego Yepes leads, leads the field. I'm not sure if Yepes actually has a championship. It's, everything is on the line right here. Everyone has something to lose. You wreck your chance at a shot this, as a title this season is done with. And all you can do is just, you know, move on. They're already going to be three wide. Guys being aggressive here. Richard Kinghart down to the inside. One out at Watkins Glen. And we already have a wreck in the back. William Brock is around the 13 and the 26. This caution flag is out. These guys need to calm down here. As is Jordan Fisher in the 14. We'll let him back. Caution flag is out. Let's get a look at the replay. A lot of some drivers um shot at the title of the season is already done and over with. These guys are racing way too hard right here. The 38, the rookie, gets into Carson Bowers right there. Bowers went back up into the track into the 39 and the 26. 26 hit hard. William Brock didn't get into the side right there and he goes around. He doesn't have too much damage, but still minor damage. Not sure if that's gonna affect the car or not. So that was your caution. Let's get you back to the restart. Set to go back green here. Two drivers out at 26 and 13. Jordan Fisher leads. Steve Lopez, Richard King Hart, Henry Williams, James Bowles. Couple of champions running up here in the top five. With further second championship. And Brock's still on track. Looks like he's going to be slow. 39 also with damage right there. And Williams now going for the second position. Right, guys being aggressive. He's exactly fits for the senior trying to get the third, 33 out the way. Nearly turning Rebecca Tyler right there. 14 continues to lead. Second generation driver Jordan Fisher, young brother of former champion Raymond Fisher. For his first title here. The guys getting moved out of the way. Probably two safest guys right now. Is 14 and um, 18 is there side by side up there. Damien Fisher nearly getting turned. Former champion, he's up here trying to get up here with those guys. Got James Bowles also up here. Fitzwater Sr., one of the favorites going in to win this thing. Him and James Bowles. Two favorites here. And Audrey Van Noskis, another favorite. Fisher nearly gets turned into 16, goes around. Big wreck here. The one car involved. 17, 19, 42 also went around. Diego Lopez, your post sitter. These guys racing it back to the line. It's Mariga the rookie in the seven. Eating them around this time. More controversy strikes here at Homestead as tempers are high. Get you look at the replay. Randolph in the 16, former champion two seasons ago. Gets turned by the double zero to double zero once again, getting into someone here. Right up into the 99. That entire team right there, the 6, 16, 17, and 99, they are not friends of that double zero. And then another one of their drivers getting turned here today or tonight. And their shot at the championship is probably over. 17 has heavy hood damage. 99 with heavy rear end damage. 42 probably has minimum damage right there. Let's get you back to the restart. Set to go back three. Mariga leads over James Bowles, Henry Williams, William Fisher, and Jordan Fisher. Three flag is out. Fitzwater Senior spinning the tires, and so did James Bowles. Near the halfway point here of this race. Battle for second. James Bowles, Henry Williams here. Is that him and So, it's 
him when he did put his hand on the body. He thought he did. He's running right now with Jordan Fisher. Fisher moves him out of the way and they're going to go side by side for the lead. He's up, he's up here and goes over Singer. So he's yet to score a championship, but one of the most winningest drivers here. He's looking for his first championship. Next half will be halfway. Actually, this lap is halfway. So we're gonna keep it clean here. This one is pretty wide with the leaves and Dell. To the lead, still with it all right behind him. With it all nearly turning the 31 there. These guys diving down into turn one and two. That 88 is all over the bat bumper of the 31. It's 31 out of the way now. And there they go! Big wreck! Fitzwater Sr. involved in that one. And another big wreck is going to take out a lot of drivers. Careful, Baranowska is slow on the outside. And your leader, Riley Spurley 2 at the line. As caution flag waves. That was a really hard hit right there by the 29. Caution flag is out yet again at Homestead. Let's get you a look at the replay. So right here, James Bowles. He's the he's he's what caused this. Gets into the 29. 29 goes. Look at that. That's a hard hit right there. Where the 29 and the 88. A lot of big names getting into that wreck right there. Taking out a lot of good competitors. Everyone else going down to the inside, trying to avoid them into the. 42 and 19 swerve in there. Look at it here again. Look at the left rear corner panel of that 29. I don't think he's gonna be happy with that. He goes hard into that outside wall. A lot of drivers hit that outside wall really hard right there at 18, 88, and especially the 29. And all of their championships are most likely done right there. It is again. Yeah, all the leaders basically just wrecked right there. James Bowles was actually able to get by. Get some on boards. Eight laps to go as green flag is back in the air. Ali Spurley to James Bowles, Marcus Yepes. We haven't talked much about him this season. He's came close to winning this thing last season. He's up here running in the third position and looking for another shot at a win here and a championship. What will be for him? He still hasn't won a race and it will be really big for him and that team if they won their first race and a championship all in the same night. They're now going for the lead here. It's Marco Cipez to the lead. Two teammates right here, James Bowles, Malik Evans, former champions. Damien Fisher is also up here. He's another champion. Black Rider has been quiet all season, slowly making his way up, having to bob and weave through a lot of these ranks. Slowly moving his way up through the field here. As James Bowles to the lead. Probably, other drivers probably aren't happy with the 48 right now. Especially if he even wins this thing. Bobby Stringle in the 98. He's running up here. Great run for the 98 here. Has it been having that almost luck lately? Seven nearly getting turned right there by Elap, right? Just trying to get those guys up out of the, out of the way. 
as possible. Next flag will probably end the race. Careful, guys. Everyone being aggressive, and we got a car around. That's the 33 of Rebecca Tyler. I think another car hit that inside wall. And caution flag is out, and that in front is James Bowles. I don't know if it's going to end the race or not. And the five of Eli Bright gets turned. And I think the seven just dumped the five right there. As caution flag is out. And that may have just ended it right there. As out front is James Bowles, but it's not over until it's over. We'll see what happened. As let's get a look at the um, replay here, and then, fit, and, um, then we'll see what happens. I hear the 53 of Rebecca Tyler getting turned by Marcos Yepes down into the 42 of um, Diego Yepes. He hits the wall, the inside wall, hard right there. They really shouldn't have caught a caution for that. I mean, they were way down to the apron. It wasn't hurting anyone. <sighs> And then we're gonna see here, Eli Bright. I turned somehow. I think it was a seven, or no? It was behind the seven. Was it the? Oh, he clipped the seven and gets into the double zero, and sends him to the outside wall, ending his shot at the championship right there. The tough break for Eli Bright. The 12 nowhere to go. Just rear ended the five right there. 16 barely getting by. And another championship. Slip away from the five right there. Let's get you back to live action and see what happened. And we are not gonna go back green, ladies and gentlemen. James Bowles in the 40 low Chevrolet is gonna capture his second championship and another win here at Homestead. Kudos to that 48 team. Worked so hard this season capturing their third win of the season I believe that's the most wins in the season all time after winning Talladega and winning Sonoma I think he's gonna win it here at Homestead as James Bowles joins Malik Evans and Audrey Bernaskis being multiple arm or being two-time champions here. And I got a three-way tie for that position. James Bowles, Baranoskis, and Evans. All of them, look at this. They actually, <laughs> this is so funny. They actually finished one, two, and three. So those three right there are all tied for the most championships, and that's two. Two of P's net for James Bowles, who's a season three, and is now the season eight champion. Malik Nevin, season one, and season four champion and Baron Oscar's the season seven and season five champion. So champions running one, two, and three and actually four. Remy Fisher the season two champion. As champions one, two, and three at home set, but as James Bowles becoming the new series champion. He has that position to defend next season. Let's get you down to Victory Lane where James Bowles celebrates another win and another championship. Take your time, there was a little burn out there. 